Yeah, we're ready to start the episode. All right, welcome back to a uh, another Skyrim part. So last time we got to the main quest after a lot of confusion because I decided it'd be a good idea not to read the mod, which you know, pro tip, don't do that because then you just look stupid. So this time we are going to be heading to take care of the uh, the Dragonstone business. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be heading that way. So I will uh, I will meet you guys to the start of that dungeon. And if there's anything interesting in between, I will make sure to put it in the video. Just real quick, look at that goddamn sky. Oh my god, dude, this is so cool. It looks so good. <laughs> Jesus. So we got a random horse. Just out here all by his lonesome. Really. I'm down. Wait, what's that? We're gonna go see what's up over here. Shady looking house, check. Alright, let's go, uh. God damn it. Let's go confront this person. See what all this business is about. What you doing over here? I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. I don't believe that for a goddamn second. It's for a so goddamn nice second. A Look at those shifty eyes. What you got in here? Oh. So we don't want to steal anything from her. Oh, we are going to unlock this. Uh, that's for damn sure. Yeah, see what kind of goodies she got down here. What do you think, Sir Cream Crab? A lot. I think that's pretty sketchy. What we got down here? We got some human bones. Fucking fine old fool round here, dickhead. Yeah. Helgi, dear, why do you hesitate? You can feel power cursing in your blood. You have only to reach out and grasp it. Renounce that boy of yours. Come. Come live with me in the forest. My sister will be my sister will be here soon. Together we can form a proper coven, and your training should will be. Oh my God! I cannot read. Your training will truly begin. Okay, so um, this is officially um not okay, and we are going to definitely go confront her. Still can't um take anything without it. Yeah, he's pissed. He, you done pissed off, Sir Crab a lot. You're Dunyans. You're Dunyans, bitch. Get that, get that sneak There's bonus damage. Uh. Yeah, you bitch. I don't care about your ward. Uh. Uh. Damn, right through her heart. Sweet Jeebus. You gotta take that. You take her knapsack. Take that. Yeah, why not? I want my arrows back, but okay, that's fine. We did it. Where's my horse, though? What the hell? Okay, well, I don't know where the horse went. What the fuck? It went right back to where it was standing beforehand. What is this? Is this just a free horse just sitting around? It's weird. I don't like it. Let's go. Okay, so there's some, uh... Here we go. Yeah, there's some bandits over here. Alright, let's get them up. Got my bow on the ready. Dude, he has a he has one of the modded weapons. Oh my god. Beat him up for us. Get him. No. You stay over there with that lightning. Uh. Oh, that is the worst shot. There we go. What's this guy? Why are they fighting each other? Two bandits? A bandit butcher and a bandit troll man. What the hell? Let's see who wins. Get it! Get it! What the hell are you looking at? Uh. Uh. Are you. I don't understand what they're hitting. Oh my god, he's under the ground. <laughs> That's so unfair. He's using hacks. Alright. So I definitely want these guys' armors. Um, we're gonna take the gloves. We're gonna take all this arrow back, steel sword, all that goodies. Um, 
Executioner's Hook, of course. Um, Rugged Fur Cloak, why not? And Butcher Hood, because that looks neat. I don't know what this person had. Um, fur armor, different color gloves, so I'm going to keep the ones that I have. A hooded fur scarf, I'm good, I'm going to take that, take that. We in there. Alright, so we get some gold out of the deal. And, oh, no, it continues. Oh, uh huh. Get more gold and a potion. I'd say worth. They killed the poor horse. Oh my god, the savages. Goddamn savages. So we are at the location we need to be. I do know that there are guys up here though. Just because I remember that much. I know there's a... Yeah. Oh. Oh. And discovered. Oh, man. Get wrecked. Wait, well, let's see. Let's see what you got. I'll take the axe. I'll take the necklace. Necklace. And, yeah. Alright. Where's the other guys? There's one. I feel like the crab being under the ground and not really targetable is pretty whacked. And I am bleeding. What is going on? Is he over there? Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh. If I can hit this. He's already dead? Holy shit. The crab's OP. Overpowered crab. Okay. If he's going to be... Wait, is he above ground now? It looks like it. I'm not sure, though. If he stays underground, I'm going to gonna dismiss him as a follower because it's pretty ridiculous. Get that shot off. Oh. Ooh. Wait for it. Are you serious? Oh, no. Got him. Oh, I'm the worst. There we go. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> He's so proud of himself. I love it. I love it. So there's a longbow. A lot of this stuff you don't need to pick up. Like, you can get into the bad habit in this game where you're just picking up everything for zero reason. But that's part of the fun. I'm going to try and refrain from doing that. I'm just going to look and take gold and uh, quick stuff. Like, this is a modded weapon, which is sick. Um, I think I picked up a, uh, a different modded weapon, actually. Let's see. The um, the war pick, the executioner's hook. Yeah, this is a modern weapon. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get in this chest real quick. Gold arrow lock pick, cool, totally worth. It. Okay, enter in the dungeon. The dungeon. Oh, so one thing I did want to talk about is uh, so today, actually tonight at E3. I don't know if E3 is going on, but uh, IGN posted a uh, video of the Skyrim remake for next-gen consoles, and my god, does it look good. The lighting overhaul, mod support on um, console, which is sick, and all kinds of stuff, right? Well, the only thing that sucks about the, uh, the console mods is you can only have, like, on Fallout 4, I think you can only have, um, let's watch this guy, wait, 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 wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch how dumb. Watch how dumb he is. Wait for it. Check this out. Check this out. What's up? Oh. You stupid. <laughs> but anyway, on uh, on console you can only have like four gigabytes of uh, mod or no 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 not four. It's like two gigabytes of mods, right? So really it kind of sucks because you can't like mod the shit out of it you can kind of mod it so these pillars match up with those pillars up there so it goes snake and then you see how that guy fell down over here so it goes snake snake and then dolphin or whale or whatever the hell you want to call it so that's just if you this is actually your first time playing skyrim or if you uh 
you're interested at all to how I just magically know how to not. Okay, man. All right. But I'm. <laughs> so I don't magically just get it. So. Uh, also, okay, this is a tip that I have for you guys. Anytime you see a value of 50 or above in a book, that means it's going to be a skill book, right? When you read a skill book, you actually level up that skill, which is neat. So, like, if I were to uh, read this right now, my pickpocket increases, right? So, I don't have to pick up the book because I already read it. I mean, you could pick it up and sell it, I guess. But I leveled up there, so here's the level up system. So I'm going to pick Magicka Health or Stamina. Now, this is where I decide how I want to start off my playthrough. I am going to go for a more of an aggressive approach. Like, usually my approach is a, like, magic user bitch. But I'm going to level up Stamina this time. And then I'm going to come over and you get a skill point too, right? And my skill point is going to go ahead and go into uh, two-handed. I never use two-handed weapons, so I'm going to start doing it in this playthrough just to see if I can be a uh, barbarian kitty. I'll still use uh, I'll still use my my bow, obviously, I'm going to just stop using it, but in this main place, god damn it, I don't know what that means. What is that, disease? Um, the hell? This is a mod too, apparently. Um, there we go. Reduce. Picking pockets is... What the hell? So I need to, uh... I need to heal. Or not heal. I need to, uh... Go find a blessing thing. Dude, I want to try this stuff. What the hell is that? I don't know. Dude, that's cool. It's cool to find shit that you don't know. I do know that we have magic mod though, and I want to try that out. So maybe my dude just gonna be kind of a little bit of everything, right? Um, hmm. And I also don't know on PC because this is my first time on PC playing it. If there's like hotkeys, which I know that on uh, on Xbox you actually favorite it, right? So like now that it's favorite, I can hit up on the D-pad. Oh, there is hotkeys. Ooh, so I can can I assign that to like. I don't think I can. Since I'm playing with controller on PC, I don't know if I can do that. Oh man. So I'll have to just do this favorite thing. Which kind of takes away from the combat a bit. But not too bad. So right here, once you get to this area, yeah, that asshole pops down. So I found the best way to deal with this dude is you just go into your magic real quick go over to destruction spells you start with flames right that's just a given you just, you just roast a bitch look at that stupid fucking spider stupid spider get it get it get it so I'll just switch to my uh, my two handed and finish this guy off uh, damn it come here there we go okay so you can take its venom I, I never used poison like, I haven't done that before. And there's this guy. You, over here. I'll cut you down, you piece loose. of shit. I can feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? Yeah, I knew you were going to do that, bitch. Huh? Come here. The swift, my ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe he is. <laughs> Dumbass. I forgot what he has. He has his journal. He has the golden claw. Now the golden claw is uh, important for a quest that's picked up in Riverwood. So we'll definitely go over there and talk to that shop heap. Beat the fuck out of this drug or you piece of shit. Yeah. So also, if you want to be clever, yeah, you use this. So you can get him to, uh, damn it. If you don't kill yourself. So this little switch here activates that. Shit, he's here too. Which is <laughs> which is bad. You don't wanna you don't wanna kill yourself. Also, like, if you're uh if you're curious about which ones are alive, like this one should be alive. Yeah, right there. So then you can get some sneak attack on it. But you just kinda like look at their model, right? And you can tell if they're alive or not. And I'm just beating the shit out of them. 
but oh loot magnet transfer all items on corpse to a 50 see okay that is a uh, that's actually a, a magic uh, not magic <laughs> that's actually a spell that's new so that's really cool that's a really neat spell so you read the spells there and then they're added into your magic so let's see loot loot magnet okay so if I were to oh shit if I were to cast it I saw I picked up like everything god damn how much did I pick up my carry weight is pretty intense actually so I'm just gonna I'm gonna fix this real quick Just roast and bitches. That's why I love magic. But as I said, gonna be using the two hand more just because. Ooh, damn. Wait for it. Damn. Eat shit, boy. Just mostly because it's a different way to play it that I haven't yet. And look at that. I just went go. That's fine. That is fine. So. I kind of want to sneak too. I want to be like a sneaky two-handed user. And I don't know. I don't know how well that would work. God damn, dude. Sit back down in that grave. What the hell are you doing coming after me? So this year, um, for those of you that are actually starting out on this, um, these this is a gas. But if you light it on fire, it kind of just instant kills everything. Which is really helpful in this area. Because this area can kind of be difficult. It's like the tutorial area. But just in case you didn't know, now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Ugh. What is that? Oh, I can block. Okay. Damn. How about you quit it? Boom. Oh, wait for it. There we go. He got jacked. So we just leveled up again. Um, this time, I'm going to put my point into health. And then, yeah, so you see the stamina, how it's all red. That means that uh, we need to go take that stuff taken care of. Um, I'm just going to go for the more damage for now. But, yeah, the new Skyrim... Uh, the new Skyrim for console looks pretty sick. I think I'm not sure if it's a uh, how much it's gonna be. Hopefully it's not like 60 bucks. It might be though. If it is 60 bucks, that kind of sucks in my opinion. Because I feel like I mean you could just buy it on Steam sales for like I don't know. I don't know. God damn, get back in that grave. I don't know. I think you can buy it for like 10 bucks when the summer sales hit. And then, <laughs> and then you can uh, just kind of put in your own mods so you can do it yourself. But if they're going to charge $60, I guarantee a ton of people are going to pay for it. Just because, like, it's just such a good game and people miss it. Like, if you don't have it and you have a uh, next gen... Look at that. That's a mod as well. Look how good that looks. Holy shit. That's so damn cool. Um, anyway, what I was saying is, uh, if you do, like, if you don't have this game and you sold it or your copy's messed up and you don't have your Xbox anymore, like your 360, guaranteed you're gonna go after it and get that. I mean, I could, I totally understand why. So I just got to tech, that's fine. I'm just gonna jump down on this desk a little bit. Uh, uh, uh. The two hand is weird because I like when I play games I like being a really fast attacker, right? Instead of the slow do a ton of damage type dude. I'm not big on that. But you know, different way to play, trying it out. I should I will tell you what I should be doing though. I should be going because I want to level up my sneak, right? So I should be sneaking around with a bow and then when shit gets real and in my face I should be using my axe. Also I don't play in third person a lot, but I like it. Here we go. Uh. Damn. 
Okay, and now we switch. There we go. And then, yep. Crabbington. Nailed him. He didn't even see it coming. Gave him the slip dick Sally. Crabalot, you little homie, you. So this is an expert? Ooh. Damn it. For nine gold? Not worth it. If you get to this, don't fucking do that. Not worth it. So continuing on here. Um Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure what to talk about. What should I talk about? Should I talk about Khajiits? How goddamn cool they are? The kitties. Oh goddamn, that was terribly timed. Oh we got more fire here. Um, I should actually probably favor that spell. I like dude, I don't even know why I like them so much. They're just so cool. I think it's because of Jazarko. Harkin's such a boss. I keep the fuck off of me, bitch. <laughs> if that crab keeps saying the same shit, I'm gonna probably get to disable that mod. Cause that's gonna get annoying if he just keeps talking behind me. I love it, but after a while. God, these particles. Let's see. Uh oh. So there's more fire. Light that on fire. And then we'll come over here. Tiptoeing over here. Light him on fire real quick. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. God damn. I also think it's cool that their uh, their eyes light up. It's a weird little thing that they did. It's neat though, for sure. Oh, I so I also apologize if it's too dark. Um I have yet to be in a dungeon and try to record. If it is too dark, I'll definitely turn out the brightness. Not a problem at all. So in this area here, um, this door here. So I was confused here for when I started playing, right? Well, what you have to do is you have to go to your items and you picked up that miscellaneous item, which is the, uh, the golden claw, right? Well, you go to um, spectate it. And you can see that it goes bear, butterfly, owl, right? So then you come here and you just match. So it should be bear, butterfly, owl. So go, go, go. And then right there, activate the keyhole. And it's going to open it right up for you, which is really neat. Um, I don't know how, how involved, how involved my commentary needs to be on exactly what's happening in the game um for sure let me know in the comments since this is my first time um let me know if you guys know what's up or if you want me to explain in depth uh one thing that was brought to my attention that i didn't talk about was the elder scroll series so what bethesda does is bethesda is known for two main series that they do they do fallout and they also do the elder scrolls so Elder Scrolls is this right here. Skyrim. Oh, he does, he has voiced lines. That's cool. Um. So this okay. There's a lot of shit to talk about. Real quick, this is a word of power. Just walk over to it. Cool, right? Well, as soon as you walk over here, there's that asshole. See that that coffin right there? Wait for it. There we go. Okay. So this guy's actually kind of difficult. Um. Yeah, I got detected right away. Oh, shit, see? He does shout and shit. So, um... <laughs> the cheese is unreal. Oh, sit down, good sir. Um... Anyway, shouts... Shouts are actually gonna be explained here in a little bit, so I won't get into that. But we got the dragon soul, that's what we came here... Or the dragon stone, rather. Not soul. Dragon stone, that's what we came for. Um, we got a word of power, which is really neat. Gold, potion, health. There we go. Oh, that's a modern weapon. That's cool. So anyway, real quick, what I was saying is, God damn it, we're over encumbered. What I was saying was, uh, with drop, drop that. That's fine. With the Elder Scrolls, this is the fifth installment, which I'm not exactly sure if it's the actual fifth game in the Elder Scrolls, but I do know it's the filth fifth installment so um basically 
my favorite out of the two is uh, Elder Scrolls. I played Fallout on console, and Fallout's actually not too bad. But I'm always gonna like like the Elder Scrolls better, just because it's the one that I first started playing, and you know I'm gonna be that fanboy. That's cute. Um. So I I don't know how long this episode is. It might be dragging on a bit. I'm gonna go deliver this sh or not deliver that shit, but I'm gonna go turn in for the quest, and then uh, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a wrap. So. I'm gonna fast travel back to White Run. Um, also, if you if you haven't played Skyrim, this is the map. So like all this shit, and like it's cloudy over here, but all these and these are the little areas that we've been already. And then there's also DLC and shit that we have to do. So we'll see how far we get. It's gonna be a lot of stuff. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Okay, get out of the way, bitch. So, one thing I will take care of before we go up to Dragon's Reach is if you, uh, if you do, you can just run over here to Talos' little shrine. Activate it. All diseases cured. All of the blessings removed. Blessing of Talos. There we have it. So... Now I'm gonna go talk to the Jarl. The terminology is clear. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. You're, yeah, oh, you call me a brute? Fuck you, dude. I'm the best. Where's you my have reward? To see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward Avenici. I'm sure one Evanici. of them will pay you appropriately. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. What the hell does that even mean? And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Yeah, you goddamn Just right it was. Copy when you've deciphered it. Talk to the Jarl real quick. The fuck out my way. Oh my god, where is this bitch? There he is. Not now. Not now. Okay. Oh, that's right. Wait for it. Fucking find no fool around here, dickhead. Yeah, better not. I just take, I'm just, you know, take that gold. You have a skill book over here. So really quickly, if you come to a bookshelf, just look for value, right? That's how you tell if anything's worth reading. Or if you're really curious about uh, the lore, you can read them. But I really have not gotten that into it. I want to hear about this dragon. Okay. So these guys had to walk up here. One thing you can do is you can just wait. Wait for an hour. There you go. So, I assume you, know you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, that's be careful. It was coming from the south. It was false. Faster than anything I've ever seen. Okay, what did it do? Down here, is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the okay, barracks okay, for some okay, food and rest. You You've earned it. Here. You'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Yeah, bitch, she already did it. Huh? My bad, my bad. Continue. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen. Okay, so you I have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. I mean, to be fair, I, I just saw it for like five the seconds. You did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. Goddamn please, right. Accept this gift from my personal armory. Damn, you don't have to. You don't have to do that, Sir King no. Gravelot. You don't. And I don't have to fuck with that. He is beneath you in every single way. Let me tell you. 
don't even worry about that. Fuck this iron sword. Fuck the imperial sword. Fuck the ancient north sword. And we are back down to the weight. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, right here is where I'm going to call this episode. Next time we fight a fucking dragon, which is badass. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like. It lets me know to continue the series, and it's it's nice to see. Also, comments are more than welcome. Go ahead and comment below. Let me know um, exactly what you guys are thinking on the whole. I mean, any part of the series, whether it's too dark or any of that. And then also. Be sure to check out my other playthrough, my Dark Souls playthrough, or any other of my random videos. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. As always, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.